All right, any questions for Kyle, please? All right, gonna go to Doug Smith from the Toronto Star first. Kyle, how are you? What's good? Not bad, thanks for coming by, appreciate it. Um, have they done much different to lock up you and Fred from three-point range? Your numbers are really off compared to what you're used to producing. Uh, I think they're just really uh, up on us. They're making us, uh, you know, make so they're doing a good job of being up on the pick and rolls. But I mean, I had a bunch of open looks tonight. I just missed them, honestly. They're uh, challenging shots, but with it, the shots are there. We just got to make them. It, and you know, this team's resiliency is well documented. And being down two nothing to Milwaukee last year, you have some history in this situation. But what what's kind of the kind of the feeling around the guys and the immediacy of that game? I mean, we're pretty pissed right now. We're down too, but you know, we have to go back and look at the film. Um, you know, understand what we've done wrong and what we can do better. Um, this is not a situation we'd like to be in, but um, you know, it's not a normal situation in playoffs where we lost two home games. We just lost two games. Um, you know, we got a chance to get another, get one game. That's all we got to do is get one game and take it one day, one game at a time. And uh, you know, the, the Celtics, they they, they played, they've been playing extremely well. So we got to find a way to you know. Get, our, get ourselves going a bit better. And one last one. When, when Marcus Smart gets going and makes those five three-pointers, all pretty well contested, how disheartening is it to defend him so well and see the ball go in on you? I mean, it sucks. I mean, he made shots. You know, so he's a pro. You know, he got five looks and got an one on one um, Yeah, he, he got hot, and uh, we didn't cool him off. Thanks, Kyle. Appreciate the time. Yeah. Next question goes to Michael Grange from Sportsnet. Kyle, uh, you know, for the first three quarters, it looks like you guys had decent control there, that game playing with a ton of energy. Did it feel like, I think you were 5 of 21 in the fourth quarter. Did it feel as difficult as those numbers suggest, or is it one of those ones you're kind of like, you can't believe the way it went down? I mean, Marcus Smart made five straight threes. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> That's one that just is just, uh, it's tough. It's tough to give five threes, but, um, you know, we played a, a well-energized game. We just didn't close it out. We just didn't finish the game defensively like we should have. The, uh, and, and Nick made the comment, like, you know, Tatum got to line as almost as much as you guys did as a team. It looked like, uh, you know, you guys are playing with enough force to get more calls. Um, is that a fair, fair assessment? You know, honestly, I, I don't, you know, I stay away from that type of uh, topic, but, you know, we were aggressive and, uh, you know, we got to a line 19 times uh, throughout the game. I know we were uh, at zero at the half, but, you know, whatever. I know that these are not excuses. We got to just play better, honestly. Appreciate it, Carl. Thank you. Going next to Josh Lewenberg from TSN. Josh, you got a question for Kyle? Oh, sorry. Uh, hey, Kyle. Um, in terms of the fourth quarter offense, are, are you happy with the shots the team was able to get? Just a matter of, of good shots not falling or um, anything you could have done differently to generate better looks? We didn't get stops, so they were able to set up in half court. And uh, without us getting stops, we can get in transition. Uh, we got a, enough good looks to, to win the game and to play better, but – um, when we got stopped, we missed some shots in transition. I missed a couple of threes uh, in transition. Pascal missed some. He's been, he, he missed a couple of bunnies. Uh, Freddie missed an open three. But uh, we had opportunities, man. We just had opportunities. We just didn't um, finish. Do you say anything? Do you have to say anything to Pascal after sort of a tough ending to that game? Or has he been sort of through these through this grind long enough that, that he knows how to bounce back from a game like this? I mean, we just know. We just tell him guys our confidence is in him. You know, we, we know he, how good he can be and how 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 dominant of a basketball player he can be. He he, he has to figure it out and uh, play, make some shots. If he makes some shots, it's a different game. He makes some layups, it's a different game. So uh, you know, it just you know it happens sometimes. It just happens. He's missing some shots that he's used to, he used to making. Thanks, Kyle. Have a good night. Final questions going to Malika Andrews, who's there in person. Nights where going back to the film after some breathing is beneficial, and there's nights where just going to recreate the work immediately is beneficial. What was the calculation for you tonight, putting in some more work? Just get out of fucking. Um, I haven't made it. I think I made my jump shot. Just my threes aren't falling. Um, 
just to try to get some type of feel for it. You know, it's just, I think my shots feel good, but you know, you want to see them go in a little bit more. You want to see it go through the basket. And you know, for me, it was just like getting a little bit of a better rhythm. Um, just, I haven't shot the ball extremely well and um, I know I can shoot. So it's kind of like, you know, just getting the mindset of just, all right, there it is, there it is, getting the feel for it. All right, thank you peoples. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you all for joining.